Welcome to my Beehive subscribe form tutorial. Here I'm going to be showing you how to create an email signup form in Beehive. It's very straightforward to do. And of course, if you're watching this and you haven't gotten to test out Beehive, I will leave the link in the description below where if you click that, you can try Beehive for free. Let's begin. So when you are on your dashboard, what you want to do is look for the left side. And if you click on audience, there's going to be a drop down to get straight to it. We're just going to go to subscribe forms. You can go to settings and find it that way, but this is the quickest way. Let's click there. All right, so I already have one there. So if you already do have one and you want to view or edit it, those are gonna be the options. But let me just create a random one from scratch. Let's click on create new form, which is probably what you're gonna be doing, given the fact you are looking for how to do this, right? So create new form. And here we just wanna give it a name. So what is the name here? This is just gonna show up right here. So whatever you're gonna be doing it for, make sure you just name it appropriately because if you start creating a lot of different signup forms, you might be a little bit confused. That's where the name's gonna come in. All right, so I put join the newsletter today to increase your lead flow. Now, something you can do here for the placeholder says enter your email. I like doing enter your best email. This is just a great way of perhaps getting their best email because many times people will go through just using a spam email, seeing they maybe just want to see what's on the other side and so on and so forth. So enter your primary email, enter your best email, uh, enter your official, I don't know about official, but best, favorite, primary, those would be good words to put there. I'm just gonna do subscribe for this. We have our color palette. This is just gonna be an aesthetics thing. If you wanna change that around, you certainly can. We have our header font, we have our body font, we have our button font. These are all gonna be pretty standard in terms of whatever you wanna use here. So fonts are case sensitive and should be chosen from Google Fonts. So if we, oop, so I open this up and in case you wanted to get any fonts here, this is where you can get them and that's where they recommend using them from. So I'm gonna go back. So after submission, you can do when a visitor subscribes via the form, you can show a success message or you can redirect to an external page. So I'm just gonna do a success message very quick. All right, so congratulations, be on the lookout for our newsletter. If you're gonna be doing a follow-up, you could say like check your inbox now for a special gift. Obviously you can redirect them to an external page, but I'm just gonna click save for this. All right, cool, so if we ever did want to edit this, which we just did, this is going to go back here where you can go around and change things around. Now, what we want to do is go to view. So this is going to be what it looks like. So lead generation newsletter, join the newsletter today to increase your lead flow, enter your best email, okay? And once again, this is going to be a fixed width. This is where you can go in and simply embed that wherever you need to on websites is going to be a perfect spot for this. They have the slim embed. There's going to be some advanced configuration. And if for some odd reason, say you uh, created one of these signup forms and you wanted to delete it, I'm just going to show you right now. I'm going to go here. And I'm gonna go all the way down and this is how you delete it by clicking on the delete. It's gonna say, are you sure you wanna do that? I'm just gonna confirm it because this was just an example. And that's pretty much going to conclude this video when it comes to creating a Beehive subscribe form. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. And if this video helped you out, be sure to give it a thumbs up as it helps me out a ton. And since you made it this far, I will have a free gift in the description in case you want some more resources for building and growing your online business. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.